Hello friends, welcome to the second tutorial of the CPQ series. So in the first video, we have learned a basic about the CPQ, that what is sales for CPQ, why it is important for sales reps. So in, in today's video, we will learn about how to create our first quote. So first of all, if you are yet to sign up for a developer org which has sales for CPQ enabled, then please, please do that first and you will find the link in the description as well for that video in, in which i have explained how to enable that org okay so first of all let's start a brief overview of our sales process so first of all we have some leads then leads are converted into accounts as we are making them into our customers okay so suppose we have an account this is our account name grand hotels and resort limited so this account can have multiple opportunities Okay, so we can navigate to the opportunities here from the related tab. Okay, so you can see multiple opportunities here and in each opportunity we will have some quotes. You can see the quotes here. So these quotes are associated with the opportunity related to that particular account. So each opportunity can have multiple quotes but an opportunity can have only one primary quote. And what is this primary code? So the primary code is the code of the particular opportunity which will contribute to the line items in the opportunity object. In the opportunity, you will see here in the related products. Okay, so the products which are listed here are part of that primary code. Okay, so suppose we have five codes and which have multiple products in that. So only the products which are part of the primary code will be present here. And also only from the primary code we can create an order. As you can create an order from clicking this button. So the code must be primary for creating an order. And in the order what we can see we can have multiple products and with a particular price associated with them. And we are just giving the customer a quotation about this is the price info and all details about that so that they can place an order for that. Okay. So let's go to the quote in the quote you have to click on the edit lines if you click on the edit lines you will get into the screen where you can add our products and you can add the products to this quote by using that add product action and here you will see the list of the products so suppose let me select these two products clicking on select so these two products will be part of our quote Okay, so here you can see I have added these two products here and we can give some discount and there are many things like to adjust the price for that product. So this is the way so we can save it as well. Also suppose if I give some discount here like 10% discount. So to see the updated price you have to click the calculate button. You can see the price got updated. So you can click on the save button. So we have updated our quote. Now these quote as this quote have products and a price associated with them then we can place an order from that quote. So the order is the final step and if the quote has subscription products that means the products which are for a particular tenure that means time is associated with them then we can place a contract. So always keep in mind contract is only possible if the products are subscription products subscription type products. So this is a just a brief overview in the upcoming videos I will show you many things including how can we configure this page this is called quote line editor these are called quote lines so each quote line is part of this code and has a product associated with them so what we will learn is how can we configure this page also I will show you how can we apply the filters suppose I click on add product here then if I want that only some particular products which have the product family as suppose hardware only these products should be visible here for selection for the sales rep so like we are just narrowing up the search criteria also I will show you how can we modify the fields which are available here suppose I if I want to add a new field here in the code line editor then we will see that as well also, we will learn about products, bundled products. What is bundled product 
and what are options so like if I go to this product you will see in the related tab we have things called options features option constraints so we will learn about each and everything in the upcoming tutorials so stay, stay tuned and do subscribe if you are yet to subscribe our youtube channel and thanks a lot